and gentlemen, out of Albert, I will say, Alice to the blue corner, fighting out of Wild Bulls, Will And going into our main event here, we've got Ellis Cook out of Airborough Thai Boxing. We've got Will Wright out of Wild Boars, capping off an incredible fight night that I'm sure we could all be proud of, and a very, very special treat for us today. I'm excited, Kieran. Are you excited? I'm We've very excited. It. Joining me on commentary, the organiser, the man, the myth, <laughs> Mr. Lewis Bailey. It's a pleasure to be here, Kieran. I'm excited. This, is, uh, this was a match that was made on another show. Um, the show was postponed, and um, I was offered uh, the, the match to, to the opportunity to present it to the people. And uh, and here it is. Well, again, so this is our first and only Pro-Am fight of the evening. Lou, do you want to give us a little breakdown on some of the differences that we might see? So that's right, this is Pro-Am B-Class. So the elbow pads are for the prevent a few cuts, but otherwise the elbows are allowed. We have three, sorry, we have five two-minute rounds. You can see these lads obviously very well prepared. They know what they're in for. They're not coming out at a, except, uh, you know, sort of a real frenetic pace. Measured approach so far. Good, really. Ellis throwing with very good power. The speed on that low kick. But Will doesn't look intimidated, I must say. He's standing there in the pocket. Not at all. He's he likes that outside low kick. Does Ellis. Goes up top and low. Good level changes there. Both men looking very sharp in the early goings of this fight. Lean back and he fires back. That's nice typical Ellis right there. Very <laughs> evasive, very quick, and then strong on the counter. And Will, as predicted, just coming forward, trying to grind his man down. Nice trip there. Nice sweep from Ellis. And you can see the experience coming through here. There's no 
going all out from the first round. They're both sat looking comfortable, feeling each other out. There we go. Again, we are in for five two-minute rounds as round one does come to an end. What did you make of that first round, Kieran? I'll tell you what, it's very competitive there. Uh, I think Ellis is looking really, really sharp. I think Will uh, seemed a little bit more content to sort of come, uh, sort of lay back, allow the, uh, you know, sort of offense to come to him, working on a bit more counter striking. Maybe his corner's going to sort of tell him to get forward a little bit more. Yeah. I, I think Ellis was, was scoring pretty well on the, on the back foot there. Um, Will obviously moving forwards through most of that, but Will, Will getting out of the way well and scoring well on, on the way out. Round two, let's see what happens. We've got a long way to go left in this fight, potentially. Seconds making their way out. Right and Cook here, just testing each other's distance, just testing their measure. Good seat there by Cook. Again, scoring well on the back foot. A nice low kick. Ellis is using his fakes very well. He's faking very well and then going. It, and that's honestly, working for him. It's, it's only, I can't, I can't take my eyes off of his hips, Lee. But Will answering back well, coming forwards. A clinch up. Gets a knee in there, a little bit tied up in the ropes, and the referee will spell them apart. Straight yeah, back That's our in. first elbow of the fight. That was a thing of First YouTube. elbow of the evening. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Catch and counter there. Teep from right. Cook comes over the top, hits Teep of his own. Block. Oh, it's a stinging left hook. There we go. I think, I think we're just seeing a bit more action from Cook. You know, so far I think Cook's Showing just that little bit more, showing a bit more variety in his strikes. Yeah. He's scoring very nicely with that left kick. He's very powerful. Definitely off balancing Will. But Will doesn't seem intimidated. He, he is he is giving away experience here, but he doesn't he's, seem intimidated at all. Yeah. You, you'd, hope, you'd, hope this is his, you'd hope this is him showing just a lot of patience yeah. rather than just sort of being caught in the headlights. Yeah. You know, he's, just, he's standing yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, Ellis is coming with a little bit more volume at the moment, but 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 Will is he's taking his time. He's taking his time, testing, testing that distance, and he's looking for his moment. I think, isn't he? Absolutely right. Again, we've got three more rounds to go. That's two in the books, so we've definitely got a long time left in this fight. It's, it's a good, interesting fight, I think. Definitely. I mean, this is. I mean, I would argue probably the biggest chess match of the night so far. Absolutely. Well, what's your advice then in the corner? So if you're you're in the corner of these lads, well, I think that I think that, that Will needs to leave a little bit less unanswered. Um, I think he's been he's been catching that left kick from Ellis a couple of times, and, and that's just been left hanging. And he needs to needs to fire back um, from Ellis's corner. I think he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. Really, he just needs to keep up the volume, keep confusing his opponent, and absolutely variety, take advantage. Absolutely of all the opportunities that those variations will present. Round three of our main event. We're underway, straight away, Cook fires off. It'll be interesting to hear your thoughts. Oh, He's good couple of body shots. Doubling up on the body shots there. Still scoring with the left. You mentioned the feints of Cook earlier, and you've got to mm. think that maybe Wright could do with just making those feints a little bit sharper. He's sort of like marching his knees up, and it's not quite getting uh, Cook to bite on those feints. You know, it's obviously yeah. keeping him guessing, but maybe something a little bit more yeah. uh, more assertive might might serve him well. Absolutely. Ellis is doing a really good job of keeping him guessing at the moment. And Will continues to come forward. He's, he's looking for that counter, I think. He's looking for the big shot. 
He did say to me before the fight, he's a, in his words, uh, more of a Muay Cow fighter. Okay. Uh, so, so lots of knees, very knee heavy approach. Mm -hmm. he likes to be aggressive, likes to push forward there, likes to counter his opponents. And uh, I mean, even he said that he does like to pick that pace up in those later rounds. So perhaps this is all part of the plan. Absolutely. Oh, goes up top with a team to the face. That was very nice. Seen a couple of those tonight. Strong combination from him, Cook. It looks like he's enjoying himself in there. An elbow slinks through for right. Just when Will presses the attack, Ellis is just just out of reach for him, isn't he, at the moment? So, yeah, very, very elusive. He's but he, he, he looks dangerous, I must say. He I really mean, Ellis does. is scoring nicely and he's moving away, but, but Will still looks dangerous. He, I mean, he's, he's definitely he lamping a little bit more into these shots. Yeah. He's being patient. That's it. See if it pays off. It's a good block. You've got to weigh up that being patient against... Wasting time. Essentially. Wasting time, exactly that. You know, we, we, we may have 5 2, we're in the third. We are in the third round. <laughs> we don't have a, uh, a, a round counter out here, uh, unfortunately, at commentary. Maybe, maybe next time. We need to get the scorecards up, I think, don't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Goals. Per perks of speaking directly to the bus. <laughs> I mean, three really technical rounds there. Three very good rounds. Uh, these guys showing, you know, obviously Absolutely. the heart there, but they're showing the patience. They're showing yeah. those different techniques. And again, very balanced. You know, everything's flowing really nicely. They're not overextending into their shots. I, I think it's fair to say that, that that Will is the underdog coming into this fight. Um, you know, Ellis, uh, he's he's got he's he's fought in Thailand. Um, he's he's got more more experience, more fights than Will. But I, I don't think that that is really showing massively at the moment. To be honest with you, I think that I think that Will is is holding his own very well. Absolutely. Um, I mean, def defensively, he has been really good. You know, obviously yeah, Ellis has got yeah. a lot of scoring shots, but yeah. he's not taken sort yeah. of real. You know devastating damage so far you know obviously I, I think Ellis would love to make a change to that in these last couple of rounds yeah he's, he's very solid isn't he he's not he's not being off balance too badly but he is being scored on it must be said he is indeed and right now he is stalking Cook down his right stalking him he's taking a few shots on the way in well defended but he needs to make some offensive moves I think he's just trying to figure out the puzzle isn't he it is indeed it's a lovely outside low kick A nice little sway back, a little grin from Cook. That was a lovely little go up high and go low. It's the level changes as well. I think Wright's not managed to, to really string together multiple shots across different levels. And yeah. I guess the fighter like Cook, that's the kind of stuff you've got yeah. to do because that's what he's that's what he's doing to you. I think he's 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 trying to work him against the ropes and and land those big shots while he's while his back's turned. That's it. I think, that's, what, I think that's, that's playing into Ellis' style a little bit, to be honest with you, because he's very, very good with his back to the road. Look at that. We've seen that Bates in him in. fights. Yeah. Bates him he in defends. and he makes the switch he, on the ropes. Yeah. He fires off and then he moves, and um, and that's that's working very well for him at the moment. He's, he's, he's very evasive. I mean, it's a beautiful example of counterfighting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really Ooh, is. Oh, it's a big elbow coming in there. That could not have felt nice. And a long knee. There we go, and he, think, he loves that little slip away, doesn't he? I think Ellis really wants to please the crowd here. He's a showman of sorts. He is indeed. And we've seen that so far. There we go, fourth round. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I'm glad you told me. <laughs> We, uh, we may be a little bit away from the end of this main event here, Lou, but uh, have you got any top picks for your fight of the night so far? My top pick absolutely had to be on the undercard. 
Jake Perryman versus Uni of Nottingham, Sasha Afghahi was an absolute war. An which absolute it, war it, indeed. Not the most technical. <laughs> but, it, but damn, it was fun to watch. Yes, it was. Um, but there have been, there've certainly been some, some beautiful displays of Muay Thai in the main card. Um, to be honest with you, I think my, I think my favourite would be Oliver Jessamine versus Lee Forrest. That was very fun. A lo watch. lovely technical battle, but really those lads put it all on the line here. But Definitely. back to the action we go. Here Ellis we go. Cook, Will Wright. I think Will's going to have to. He's going to have to get some some serious offence in. He certainly is. Would you would you perhaps posit? that this is time for a finish for Mr. Wright. I think that that could be accurate. <laughs> there we go. And the ref's seen the enough. The referee has seen enough. I think maybe not a popular opinion in the corner of, uh, of yeah. Wild Boars. Yeah. I mean, I can see where, where they were coming from, absolutely. Um, Obviously, no one likes to see their fighter stopped in, yeah, in, in that kind of manner. Absolutely. Just protecting it, the fighters at the end of the day. And um, I think you could just see that Will was probably not going to come back with a Hail Mary there. Um, absolutely. And that's, and that's fair enough. And it always comes down to it. We've, we've said it time and time again. It's always yeah. about the safety of the fighters. These aren't, these aren't prize fights. You know, these are guys that are coming in here for the love of the sport, the love of competition. Uh, but at the end of the day, we all want to walk out of here, you know, loving the sport still, able to love the sport and continue doing it. So, Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen. And here we have the announcement from the Mr. Kieran Weatherly.